Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for joining me here in Grand Theft Auto V as we try to solve the Chiliad mystery. I'm RJ. We are here on the top of the FIB building because in this episode, I really wanted to talk about the FIB presence here in San Andreas. The one thing that really stands out more than anything else when it comes to the FIB for me is that the hidden UFOs in the game that you can only see when you have 100% completion all say FIB on them. So what's all that about and what the hell's going on with the FIB's connection with the Chiliad mystery? I will point out that many people have contacted me telling me that this T2 could link up to the Chiliad tunnel. We know that there's a T01 and a T02 in that tunnel. At the T02, you can find an Epsilon tract, so maybe there is a connection, but the fact that that's just T2 and not T02 Maybe that's a big difference. I'm not sure. But another thing that's interesting, if you look at the FIB logo, you can actually see a big one in this interior here. There is a baseball bat on the logo itself. And if you remember, the jetpack symbol, or at least the hidden jetpack symbol at the Altruist Camp, uses a baseball bat to make up the hind leg. So maybe that's a connection as well. Those are not really the most obvious of connections. But once again, with the FIB, Clearly written on the UFOs, there must be something going on with the connection between the aliens and the FIB in the game. Of course, if you checked out our last Chiliad Mystery episode, we were looking at the eagle at the base of the tower. The Epsilon also talk about the eagle in connection to the egg, as well as a lake of truth. And considering the eagle is in a small lake, kind of, maybe that's all connection and that is all right there at the FIB building. So another connection to the FIB in the Aliens is the Satellite Array. I'm sure many of you guys came across the Array and saw the scientists accompanied by the FIB agents, and that's about as suspicious as it gets. They even talk to one another until you get close, and then they stop talking. If you hang around the area for too long, you'll get stars, they'll start attacking you, and then sometimes even if you leave the area after coming into it, you'll get stars for just being there. So it's very interesting why these FIB agents are observing the satellite array and why they are acting so suspicious all at the same time. Well, you might not have noticed that here in the next gen edition of Grand Theft Auto V, they have taken out the FIB agents from the satellite array. Normally they would be, I think, between 10 and 5 over there at the main satellite, which is facing a different direction than the rest. Okay, so it's just about 11, so you'd think that they would be here. But yeah, I'm not sure why Rockstar would take them out of this area. They're pretty rare altogether as it is. And for them not even to be here, as you can see, all you have is the scientists. It's still looking... And the difference between the scientists is they're a little bit more skittish than the FIB agents. The agents are pretty much just looking to start trouble with you if you get close, but the scientists will run away scared. So what's that about, guys? Why did Rockstar go out of their way to take the FIB agents away from the satellites? I thought that was a pretty big clue. You know, you come across those guys and you're like, all right, what's going on here? What are they hiding from us? especially considering you have this satellite which is facing towards Fort Zancudo, or at least in that general area. So what's going on guys? Let me know if you have any theories. Why did Rockstar take the FIB agents away from this location? Because we know that you can normally find them right over here, not too far away. On Sunday we had a new episode where I looked at this building and told you guys we'd be coming back here. And that is because, for some reason, the FIB agents remain here at this one small facility, highly protected, of course, but they're no longer at the satellite array. So what the hell's going on here? Why is Rockstar peeing in on this location more than the satellite array compared to any other location? What's going on, guys? Uh, we don't want any trouble. We're just trying to figure out what you're actually doing in this small house. Okay, looks like they took our word for it. <laughs> Just kidding, we do want trouble. Give us the jetpack. Now, there is one other location, guys. I've heard that the FIB agents sometimes spawn on Mount Gordo. 
so let me know if you've ever seen them up there i can't remember if i've seen the men in black on the top of mount gordo myself i have seen some people up there but i can't remember because of course it's been so long and not to mention now that we have two different versions of the game where apparently the fiv agents appear different places and just don't appear altogether. We've been trying to figure out exactly what the FIV is up to in the game, especially with them controlling the UFOs. Are they in cahoots with the aliens? And more importantly than anything, are they somehow connected to the Chiliad mystery? So when it comes to the UFOs in the real world, I always thought there was a pretty good chance that they were a government creation. I mean, how could they be flying around everywhere without the government knowing about it? Well, when I saw the FIB written on the UFOs here in Grand Theft Auto V, I pretty much thought that Rockstar was recreating that. Maybe the government here in GTA V is controlling the UFOs and the aliens as well. And maybe it is the FIB who's kind of keying in on everything. So let me know if you guys think that is the case. Maybe the Chiliad mystery is just pointing towards the government controlling the UFOs. Or maybe there's just another existence, just like the Epsilon talked about, and maybe the FIB is in on that as well. Definitely stay tuned here at Trippy Commentaries. Thanks again for joining up for the episode, guys. Now this one was a little bit more crazy, especially getting into the FIB, but I find it highly suspicious that Rockstar took them away from the satellite array, yet still is keying in on them at that one location. So let me know if you guys have any theories. I will catch you all next time. As always, guys, make sure to stay trippy.